Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week, GitHub let us know what DevOps is. We learned how Next.js is changing the game, and we collabed with the Mr. Beast. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week. Maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. Click the link in the description below to sign up. All of the links mentioned will be in the newsletter. And even if you don't want to sign up, you can still access all of the links mentioned. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, if you missed it, Next.js 12 was released. Here are some highlights. It now has a Rust compiler, middleware, React 18 support, native ES modules support, and React server components. In other news, Yarn 3.1 is out, ES Lint version 8.1, Meteor 2.5, Redux version 4.1.2, and there's new React docs available in beta. What's interesting is that if you look at the source code, they're actually using Next.js for their new docs. On to the VS Code extension of the week. If you want to take beautiful screenshots of your code to share on socials, you need the CodeSnap extension. Just highlight the code that you want to take a screenshot of, and it'll make it look pretty and save it as an image. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. First up on the GitHub channel, Emily Freeman, the author of DevOps for Dummies, let us know exactly what DevOps is. The Net Ninja has a new series, and this one you'll build a memory game in React. Next, Jeff at Fireship gives us a first look at Next.js version 12. It's packed with awesome new features like a Rust compiler, middleware, concurrent mode, server components, and much more. Do you want to learn how to mint an NFT? Just go check out this tutorial for beginners from Eat the Blocks. A couple of weeks ago, Mr. Beast reached out to YouTubers to help him with his next challenge. He's raising $30 million to get rid of 30 million pounds of trash from our oceans. $1 donated equals one pound of trash removed from our waters. So if you have the means, go to teamseas.org to help out. Next up, Flavio Copas moved his very popular blog site from Netlify to Cloudflare Pages. This is a major move. Go check out this video to see why and how he moved his site. And next, check out this modern GraphQL crash course from Laith Harb. Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was how to create a blockchain in just 60 lines of JavaScript. For podcasts, go check out the latest JS Party episode where they talk about shipping less JavaScript closer to the user. And over on Instagram, check out this carousel to find some HTML tags that you wish you knew earlier. Again, there's even more content in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. If you missed last week's episode, go check that one out as well. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.